Hi everybody, it's Claire back with day five of the Art by Marlene advent calendar. Um, so today was a really cool little snowflake die cut, um, which I decided I would use in a sort of cutout page with a window. So I found two pages in the journal that were both the watercolour paper and added this uh, gesso to the page first and then some watered down turquoise um, onto both sides of the paper. And then this is, um, that was like a, a stencil from Art by Marlene, which had got like a sort of scalloped pattern on it. And also this snowflake stencil, which I think is a dilution as one. I've had that quite a long time, just sticking with the same sorts of colours. So then I'm using this circle maker and basically just using it as a circle template. I mean, you could use anything like a plate or, I don't know, a bowl. Um, and then I'm just cutting those out through both pieces. So you can see that I'm going to have some pages in between when they're going to be stuck together so then once I've done that put that to one side this is some paper from um, Art by Marlene some of her um, pads of collage paper and I'm using this to initially cut out some of the die cuts of snowflakes so because there's only one die cut it took quite a while cutting them one at a time and they are so delicate they're so pretty um, but there is quite a lot of fiddling and faffling with them But it was well worth all the effort. Um, they are so pretty when they're cut out. Um, and I can see me using these in other projects too. So I also cut some out of card as well. Um, initially I was going to have them sort of dangling in the window, but then I decided I would make like a window using acetate um, to trap the snowflakes in. So um, my plan kind of changed as I got working on this page. So then I've cut my acetate to size and using a double sided tape gun, stuck it in place on both pages so it created a double sided window. Um, and then I started sticking the snowflakes using PVA glue because obviously it will dry clear. And then adding more double sided tape, sticking the pages together, then you can see I've created that window where I've trapped those snowflakes. So then I'm using some extra thick gel medium from Dina Wakely just to stick some more snowflakes onto the front. Um, then I decided I would die cut another one and use it as a mask um, with some paint that I mixed up like some of the lapis with some white gesso and then you can see it worked really really well it was really pretty so just helpful to build up some layers and then I just did some white ones over the edges just to kind of help blend those darker ones and push them away a little bit more once that was dry, I then um, got out the uh, rub-on letters again and uh, just put the words let it snow on the page. You have to be really careful not to get your finger on any of the other letters, otherwise they do stick to your finger while you're, um, <laughs> while you're putting the other ones in place. Then I added some splatters um, in turquoise and white. Then I got my Posca pens out and added some dots and mark making to the page too. Really, really big Posca pen, added some dots that even went over the window too. And I think I finally finished off with, of course, you can't have Christmas without glitter, can you? Some glitter on the page um, just to finish it off. And there we go, that's the finished page. So I was quite pleased with how it worked. Um, there are so many things that you could do with these little tiny snowflakes. Really cool. So thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying these little instalments from the advent calendar. Come back tomorrow to see what I do with the next one. See you soon.